Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to deep dive into each individual marker that was retrieved through an API. Um, so as you can see here from the last lesson, we built a nearby restaurant search where it will show nearby restaurants. However, we want to build this further out where we click into each marker and we're able to expand a bottom sheet that allows you to click into the detail of those restaurants. For example, getting the opening hours and photos. So to get started, firstly, we want to wrap the Google Maps in a stack so we can display two things on top of each other. Next, you will need to add a container. Um, so this will contain the information at the bottom. And then we're gonna center it to the bottom and just say make width of infinity. And then we'll add some padding to the bottom, let's just say. Now, let's quickly add just sim simply a text of the restaurant name that we want to display. The major problem with Flutterflow uh, when retrieving information for API into a map marker is that when you click each individual marker, you, Flutterflow doesn't inherently have the function to identify which marker you've clicked on. So for example, it doesn't know that I've clicked on this marker um, with an index of five, for example, from the data. So we need to hack the system in a way to tell Flutterflow that, hey, we've clicked on this marker, retrieve the information from this marker. In order to do this, we need to firstly have map center on move. So this is quite important. So have this on. And then secondly, we need to write a custom function, which in a very simple term, searches the marker based on the map center. So this will tell Flutterflow, hey, look through all these markers, which of these markers relate to the center of the map and select that uh, that index of data. So let's get start, started straight to the um, custom function. So here we need to add a new custom function. Let's call it index marker identifier. And then our return value is going to be an integer because we want to know what index it's in. And then there are two inputs. It's going to be, we call it center marker coordinate. And the other one is going to be, that's going to be a lat long type. That's the flutter flow lat long of the center marker. And the argument, second argument is going to be list of location. And that's also going to be lat long based on our um, JSON outputs. So here we will write a get AI to help us write a set of code. So I've got an AI to help us. I'm going to write, just give a prompt of return index of argument one, which is the center in argument two. And this is the code and it looks about right. The main code is here. If the center marker coordinate equals to the coordinate of the list of location, return the index of it. We're going to copy that function and we'll save the function and check for error. Suppose we want to show the restaurant's name um, in the bottom sheet. What we need to do is leverage our custom function we just recently created. So firstly, we want to pull the API results um, and we want to use the JSON path of the name. And then what we need to do is identify that index of the JSON path for a specific index. And here the index will be based on our custom function that we created. It was um, our index marker identifier. And our input for the center marker is going to be our global properties. Um, sorry, not global properties. It was gonna be the map current center. And then our list of location is gonna be the list of um, geo points we use as a pin. So here we need to use the custom function again. Remember that convert our JSON into a list of lat long. So here we need to convert input the action outputs lat and long. So firstly, we do the lat latitude. And then secondly, we do the longitudes based on our API results. Cool. So this basically identifies um, what is the index of the P 
pin we just selected and that will pull the name of the restaurant of the pin we just selected confirm let's make some ui changes where this doesn't show on load um, it will only show when we click the pin so let's create a app state uh, we just call it bottom sheet and it's going to be a boolean so it's yes or no um, and then the, on page load we are going to set that as a false so it doesn't show on page load cool and then when we click the pin so you've got to go to the google map widget and when we click the pin on marker tab we want to show the bottom sheet so we're going to show app state update app state boolean set value to true great now we need to set this container here as a conditional value so it only displays when um, the app state is true equals to true great let's quickly test this out i'll do a refresh so here you can say i'm going to search nearby restaurant of sydney new south wales click search and then we'll click this exact pin and here you can see the bottom sheet popped up and it says sir stanford as circular key so this is the restaurant for this pin now we need to add an action when a user clicks into this bottom sheet to go to the detailed view of this restaurant so let's create the detailed page first um let's create a blank page very basic restaurant detail and then we're going to pass in a parameter which is hard make it super simple let's just say we pass in the name of the restaurant and then we're going to say it's a it's a string and it's required um, we're going to confirm and then we go back to our map view oh wait uh we're going to say set this into the name of the parameter we are passing into so what we want to build here is that when a user clicks into this banner, it will go to the restaurant page and pass in the information about the restaurant's name, which is set as a parameter on the next, on the detailed page. So what we need to do here is um, I'll just quickly copy this formula here, the index formula, which we created because we will need it. So copy variable. Okay. So when, now we're going to set an action. So when a user clicks into it, we want to navigate to the restaurant detail page and we want to pass in the name of the uh, restaurant. So we want to pass in the action outputs, nearby places API, and we want to get the index of the name, similarly how we did it for the bottom sheet. So we're going to click name and then we'll say item at index and then specific index. And here we just paste it, the formula we copied, which looks for the marker we clicked and press confirm. Okay, let's test this. Let's search Sydney, New South Wales. And we'll click uh, the Sir Stanford, a circular key restaurant, bottom sheet. And this will navigate to the details page showing Sir Stanford, a circular key. So you can further expand this by passing in the hours um, and other details, reviews and photos and other details that you want to bring in. So this is how you can show API core information on Google Maps in addition to clicking individual markers to obtain the detail and get and pass that information to a detailed page on Flutterflow. Remember to like, comment or subscribe for more videos on Flutterflow.